Hey everybody, I'm back with another toy review. Uh, I got this new Marvel Spider-Man Venom that just came out. Um, it's marketed for 2017, but I think it's just kind of getting to stores because I haven't seen it, you know, in a while. Um, you know, I haven't seen it come out. Um, I also saw it with a couple other different figures. There's a, a newer Hobgoblin in this wave and a Spider-Girl. I did pick up the uh, Hobgoblin. I'll probably do that on another review, but I'm just going to check out the uh, Venom first and uh, to get it out of the package and see how it is. Uh, so, again, you can see here we got the basic Marvel Spider-Man kind of open packaging. It's got a nice image here of uh, Venom in the corner and uh, Marvel Spider-Man on top. It says, try me here. Um, you know, you kind of turn it around. You can see that there's like a little open spot here where there's... A little twist knob so basically what kids can do is when they're in the uh, store you can move it around he can move his tongue back and forth and he looks kind of menacing um, so that's you know it's kind of a gimmick mostly for kids but it does add you know at least some playability to it you know because that way you can move it around and stuff like that uh, so let's leave it there for a second um, basically it's pretty neat looking um, it's from the um, kind of like the animated series so it's uh, a little bit more exaggerated in the uh, figure itself a little bit um, you know it's a lot more menacing whereas like he's kind of like hulking out um, so that's basically that and it's kind of in like a more of like a dark dark gray than a uh, you know uh, like black like usual in most of the Venoms but it does look really good because it is like a really dark gray and on the back of the packaging gives a little bit of a storyline here you know I can bring it up here you can just kind of pause it and read it um, you know Marvel at the bottom by Hasbro and uh, here's the UPC if anybody wants to look it up I got it at Target so you, know, you can try there sometimes Walmart gets it sometimes but they usually sell out pretty quickly so that's basically for the packaging and some of the descriptions so uh, let's get it out of the package and see how cool it really is Okay, so here we are. We got it out of the package, and uh, let's take a picture of the uh, figure close up. So let's just take a quick look at the uh, head sculpt. That's pretty nice head sculpt, you know, the uh, with the jaw kind of angled down like that. You know, it's like a lot more open. Um, you know, it's like very close. He has like almost no neck. It's all like muscles, and then you have the tongue here that kind of kind of spins around you kind of get in the way of the arm here a little bit but if you keep turning it it kind of just hits on the chest so it's mostly meant to just kind of go back and forth really um, I usually see if you kind of like have it like somewhere up like that because you can't put it then it makes it easy to move the arms all the way around um, without getting in the way of the tongue um, so yeah you get basic articulation in the arm with most of these Marvel figures that are from the new line where it doesn't do anything as far as like bending the elbows a lot it's more for like um, you know for playability like it has a lot of like exaggerated features so you know from a far distance you know you can see what the figure you know who it is from a distance they're not relying on so much like mega detail like um you know a lot of like other twenty dollar figures because this is like a, a price point of probably about ten dollars you know and um so yeah he's got the basic like emblem here like he does in venom um and uh it's pretty nicely painted it's like it looks like most of the fat uh plastic is Mm, I think it's molded in gray, and then the head is painted, and then it's kind of added on. Um, so you just kind of can move the button, spin it around. Um, and, uh, you know, you get basic articulation in the legs, little peg holes on the bottom, uh, you know. And here's the back of the figure. So that's basically for the... Venom figure is pretty cool. I mean, I enjoy this line. It's pretty cool. Like I said, it's a lot more basicer, sometimes geared towards like smaller kids. But again, if you're doing like any other things like videos or anything like that, then 
you know, you need people to see the figure. You know, you're not really looking at like, you know, it's not like some people don't have the technology to do it better, you know. So, so that's basically the Marvel Venom. And um, I'll show you, here's a... Uh, here he is next to, uh, from the same line. That's the Marvel, you know, like with the black suit Spider-Man. And he has the, uh, you know, uh, like web shooting action where it's just like this little thing on the back that shoots out blue webs. I got you! You know, and, uh, so that's him next to the black suit Venom. Uh, here he is next to Marvel's Carnage. Uh... Actually, here I got also Kid Arachnid. So he goes next to him. And he kind of does the same thing where it's like... Shoots out the little web. Um, so they look pretty good together. This one's uh, like about two years old. So the plastic looks a little bit different. Um, but same basic articulation. You know, it's a good looking group now. You know, the color schemes all go together pretty well uh so that's basically it for uh marvel's venom and uh give me one second and i'll be right back and here we're back and here we are next here everybody is and they're around uh gamora in her 1997 toy biz spider-man coupe uh you know they all hanging around the car checking it out it's got some like, you know, it's all like translucent red plastic. Um, and they're all checking out Gamora in the car. That's basically that. Thought I would just throw that little thing in. So, uh, thanks again, guys. Um, remember to like the video and uh, please subscribe if you like the video. So, thanks again.